All right, today we are talking all about scapular pressing and helping you try to fix winging problems and improving your press up. Um, but the first part today is about scapular pressing. We will come to push ups later. So this section goes through floor stuff and then going onto the wall. So the first thing you should be working on with scapular pressing is on all fours because there's not too much um, load for the arms as in raising your arms up. And a lot of people have these problems where if they raise their arm, especially after injury or surgery, they can't or they've got pain. So doing it on a wall was too hard, um, but there is less load through the scapula. But it's doing it on the floor is harder for the load, but easier for the arm position. So I'll teach the floor one first. You've just got to choose whether you go to wall or floor, depending on your situation and depending on your injury or your problem, okay? So on all fours in this position here, okay, this is a four point position, all right? What I want you making sure of is your hands and your knees are all in the right position, okay? So basically, on all fours, hands splayed out, elbows have to go forward, okay? So from this position here, I want you making sure that your neutral spine in that position, and you're going to go down with your upper body and up with your shoulder blades. So your shoulder blades go towards the roof or the sky and then you push through your hands and push your shoulders forward and push your body up. Now common mistakes are, if I show you this way, common mistakes are of pushing your, when you come up is doing that. So I don't want you to round through there. You've got to make sure that when you come up Okay, you just go to that position there. All right, so it's, it's full protraction. Okay, so full protraction with the shoulder, meaning that way, but you don't, we don't round. All right, so you're going from retraction to protraction, but we're doing it close chain. So this is an open chain position. Open chain meaning my arm is moving relative to my body. Now, you need muscle control and strength and stability to be able to do that. Right, now people with winging don't have that stability and strength and control. Well, when I mean, they've lost their serratus anterior strength because of the winging, and now remember, winging is mostly due to serratus anterior, okay, plus lower traps and things like that. So working on retraction strength or trying to flatten your shoulders and using ROM words does not work, okay? It is serratus which is pressing forward. So to get yourself better with winging and to improve your serratus, it is protraction and a press position, not retraction or a pull position. So don't be fooled. Don't go and try and sit your shoulder blades back like that to try and flatten them. It's not going to work. It's just going to crank up your rhomboids and that's actually going to be the antagonist of serratus and it's not going to work, especially when you're going to push up. So this position here when you protract is this position here that position there. So you're going to go from retraction, which is your eccentric serratus work, so retraction to protraction. All right. Now, the second, the second part is doing one arm. So that was your warm-up sort of phase and getting that movement going to activate that muscle system, get your scapular mobility a little bit better. All right. So you can do that in a push-up because when we come to push-ups in the next video. You have to go through your full retraction and then full protraction when you do a push-up. So it's very important that you learn the protraction retraction position. Now to add some load, because most people have winging on one side more than the other, add some load, you do one arm. Alright? So here, take one arm away, on the back, same position. Retraction, protraction. Okay, make sure you don't rotate like that okay it's from here straight down straight up all right and there without rounding out okay so that's your pressing stuff now what you can do if you're very good at you know that's improved now down the track you're talking weeks and weeks and weeks of improving that activation of your serratus improving your um, whole control of going to projection getting them a bit flatter when they stand there, you know, they should be standing a little bit flatter over weeks and weeks, you can add on resistance. And this is what you do in a push-up as well to improve your push-up. So you can just use it like a mini power band or any sort of type of band. And using a band is way better than weights for this sort of thing because you're trying to improve your um, 
strength through range, okay? So what I'd do is like that, okay, round your back onto there. So now I've got resistance. So I go into that same position, retraction, and then protract into there, into that press position. I get some sort of resistance. So I've got gravity plus resistance, all right? So that is your four point stuff. Now, on the wall, come over here. Yeah, we'll do that. Is what you can do now is do it this way. Now this is really important for people who can't handle load. Okay, so it's a lot lighter. It's, it's, because my movement is going this way, I don't have much load through here. And it's if someone is very stiff, this is very good to do in this position, as long as they can get their hands up to 90 degrees. So if you can't get your hands to 90 degrees, you might have to come down onto the floor because if they can't raise against gravity. Um, this is not going to be a very good position for you. Right, so into this position here, stepping away from the wall for a little bit, a tiny little bit of load to get a little bit of activation. And again, you're going through retraction and protraction. Now, the basic human instinct is to bend the arm. So when you, when you press, you want to sort of bend your arm. You've got to keep that elbow straight so all your focus is on that because if you start bending your arm and you've got a shoulder injury that you're recovering from, you're going to have problems with that. So you need to have a straight arm and elbows facing up again, just like you did on the floor. Elbows facing up and you're going to go into retraction and into protraction like that. So into retraction and protraction. All right, making sure you try and go all the way. And that's very good for people who are a bit immobile. Like they might have winging, but they also might be very, very stiff. Okay, so this helps with get that, mo really pull back to get that mobility and push forward. Same thing, don't, don't go and round. Okay, so stay in that position. So keep that core on, keep that neutral spine. If you want a little bit of load and your, and your wrist movement is okay, you can go onto your toes and do it and retract and protract, okay? Now, the advancement is one arm, same thing, same as the floor, you're going to retract with the elbow, uh, the shoulder, and protract. Look at the elbow, keep it straight, rotate it up, which is external rotation here, takes the shoulder joint, and you're gonna retract into here, and protract forward, okay? Retract, and protract forward. So again, protraction is firing that serratus, which helps strengthen up, which then, at a resting position, your shoulder blades sit a bit flatter, they stop winging so much. And the retraction phase here is eccentric or negative work on the serratus, okay? You're not really trying to pull back unless you've got mobility problems. So I'm not trying to use my raw moves to, to, to pull myself back. I'm slowly letting myself go into retraction, which means I'm using my serratus to slowly let go of protraction, which is building up that eccentric phase of the muscle. And then my push, so there's the eccentric, my push phase is the concentric phase of the muscle. All right, and once you're good at that, just add on your band, okay? Comes into here, into there, okay? On the wall, now you can either do two arms, or put it into one arm, all right? So this is a lot harder. So into there, there's my retraction. The band will sort of pull me in, so I've got to slow it down and control it, which means I'm working under there in that serratus to control that movement, and then push away from the wall. Just make sure my elbow's not bending, push away from the wall. So just control down, and then push back. Okay, so that's all your scapular work. Now, this doesn't take into account any sort of elbow work, any sort of actual pressing. So what we're going to come to next video is working on using that scapular mobility in the push-up and trying to load up the push-up and show angles and changes and progressions to try and get you back to pressing.